Hey, good people, look what I found. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I found some beautiful pumpkins. Um, what I love about the pumpkins is this silver um, stem. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm not gonna do anything to these pumpkins. I'm just gonna leave them just the way they are. Um, one is a um, solid silver, but they both light up. So this one is lit. Let me show you what it looks like when it's not lit. It has fairy lights inside. So it's clear. Um, to different sizes, but I would love one of those big, tall pumpkins that's clear. Um, I want one that's clear to go with this. I just love it. So I'm gonna put pumpkins in different rooms of the house, but aren't they beautiful? Look at that, this is a mercury glass look. So let me show you something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I could come over here. Do, 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 do. Here's some other pumpkins. Let's move you out the way. Okay. Let's put you here. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You know that's that pumpkin that I bleaned out a little. Look at that. And those are candlesticks. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my God. So let's try y'all. Let's try it with the one that lights up. Let's try it with this one. I better stop playing around with this before it falls and I, then I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack. If you're wondering where I got these from, I got them from TJ Maxx. Look at that, booyah. Okay, so let's take this down and put that up. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that pretty? My gracious. Okay, so let me show you. Let's go over here to some of the pumpkins. Got my little t-shirt dress on today, y'all. Um, that I had from last year. Let me come. I got some downstairs in the office too, but they are for downstairs because they're gold. But look at these. I, I didn't do a thing. I know you want a treat. Wait. Um, I didn't do a thing to these, y'all. See all of the bedazzle and things like that on this pumpkin? It came from Burlington last year. See some hot glue left. But I didn't do a thing to these, y'all. Um, I got these probably $9.99 or $8.99 from Burlington. And they were already bedazzled. And so if you see something like this in the store, um, you guys, when you get it home, are you with me? Spray it with hairspray. Hairspray will set all of that glitter into place and you won't see it flaking up everywhere. Like I just had it in my lap, but you don't see the glitter. And that's because last year I sprayed it because I was actually getting ready to take them back to the store. I was like, look, I cannot deal with this glitter, but I went on Pinterest and someone said to use some hairspray and I used some hairspray what is that y'all can you tell me what that is what is going on look at that that's what happens when you're the only child okay so i put some hairspray on it so i got two of those from burlington last year and i got two of these bling um pumpkins from ross what i like about these is you can put a tea light candle in the middle see that and let them illuminate so I'm really getting into that letting the pumpkin glow kind of look. I like that. So I brought these two up here because I saw one leaf, I saw one leaf outside falling. And so I felt like it was fall because that leaf was falling off the tree. So I felt like uh, it was falling. I needed to go and start pulling all my stuff out. Okay, so if you feel like that, you better get with it. Not only that y'all, TJ Maxx has so many beautiful pumpkins, turquoise, black. I saw, see those little blue pumpkins there, y'all? See those? Um, I actually saw them in silver today, green, gold, pink, blue, um, orange. So these cute little um, Give Thanks pumpkins here from TJ Maxx for $4.99. I see more colors coming out. 
And so this is what I, this is just that little vignette that I did. It's not, it may not stay like this, but this is what I used to take that picture um, to show you guys what I got when I went to the um, Joann's in Burlington the other day. But that's just a platter. So you guys, you can actually use, let's see. Remember the other day, y'all, I organized down here. Let me come in and see that. Look at that. Aren't you so proud? So all the way in the back, let's see. I have uh, some of these stands, y'all. Uh, let's see. So you can actually use some of these stands for the pumpkins um, or any kind of decor. Look at that, just to elevate it because one thing that we need to um, keep in mind, you guys, when we are decorating things, we get lots of light, um, nice things and we want to display them, you guys. But you have to make sure that you are displaying things in elevation. And what I mean by elevation is not everything can be on the surface, okay? Not everything can be one level. This is what I mean. If I took this pumpkin down and I took this stand away and I took this and put this here, took this stand away, put this here, do you, do you still get the same impact or does it look like I just unpacked? this from the bag and I put it there. You see what I mean? So we have to elevate things, give them more dimension so that your eye can travel up and down a display. But right now my eyes just go straight across. Here's a good example of elevation. See this? So I have this tall piece, medium sized piece. I got two boxes back there, but I have that plant on top for some elevation. But if I move the plant, let's see. Oh, Lord. If I move the plant, y'all, and put a pumpkin, I still got elevation. If I move this pumpkin and put this pumpkin here, I got even more elevation. So not only do I have elevation, I have more texture. I have texture here, texture here, texture here, texture here. You see that? That's what makes things interesting. Different levels. You want your eyes, you want your the um, person who is beholding your beautiful things, you want their eyes to travel up and down and up like a triangle so that they get to see all of the beautiful pieces that you have. If I want to move this, I could very well put this here, put this here, and still have elevation. So these are just some ideas, okay? Um, another example of elevation, here. I have the book elevating the glasses. I have the pear elevated on a book. Um, and this candle stick here, I mean, that candle is was at, actually elevated like this. See that? So now I've got some elevation. Elevation and varying heights. Elevation and varying heights. Okay, so keep that in mind when you are decorating. Make sure you have some elevation. If you're doing a vignette, you most definitely need elevation. And remember, a vignette is when you are, are clumping together beautiful pieces. This whole table represents a vignette. Vignette. That corners um, decor right there, that cluster of decor, that's a vignette. Okay? So make sure you have some elevation. So comment below. What did you learn, you guys? What did you learn? And um, why don't you upload a picture of something in your home where you have used some elevation and some texture? All right, that's your lesson for today. Have a good one.